have a great deal of respect for Taylor University. They uh, always play hard. You know, they have maximum effort. Um, had a real barn burner last year. We had a significant lead at the half and uh, led them back in the game and ended up winning by six. They got an outstanding quarterback, throws the ball well. They are extremely well coached. They play good team defense. Uh, they present a real challenge. I think, you know, a year ago, people thought, you know, they're middle of the pack team. They were seven and three and probably should have been a playoff team. So we have a great deal of respect for them. It's going to be a real challenge. Talk a little bit about that uh, from that game last year. What are your, what do you remember from it? And obviously, uh, <laughs> against the backups, uh, they, they came back. And was there ever nervousness at, at the end of that one? Notice it. It well, ain't over to the fat lady sings, that's for sure. I think we substituted about 10 minutes, third quarter, opened the door. And, you know, that's a team just going to keep fighting and scratching and clawing and coming back. And they did just that. So, uh, you know, we're going we're gonna to have to play four quarters of good football. So kind of piggybacking on what Mike was asking, what do you take away from your uh, past two wins so far that you can apply to this game? Well, I think there was significant improvement from game one to game two, elimination mistakes, played faster. Uh, you know, coming out of two-a-day practices uh, is difficult sometimes. The body is fatigued, and I think right now we're probably as healthy as we have been since about day two of camp. So starting to physically recover and starting to play. How excited are the guys to, to play a home game finally? Well, I know I am. I'm just glad to be back home, sleep in our own beds, and uh, have a great town of Fort Wayne uh, come out to watch us. What's been the focus of practice this week? Getting better. You know, you, you got to get better each and every day. Um, we uh, had an emphasis defensively. We just wanted to really improve on open field tackling. Missed a couple last week. We had that to improve. Um, had to eliminate some mental errors and focus offensively. And uh, just had to really step it up and, uh, and concentrate on polishing things up from the first two weeks. You were talking about the improvement they need to make. What is the team doing well right now? Well, I, I think we've had a, a good week of of practice, uh, got to finish it off today and tomorrow. But I think there's a real focus. Now that you know you got conference game number one coming, they're important. You can't lose a conference game and really expect to win one unless somebody else drops one. So uh, everybody's in control of their destiny as you continue to chalk off conference victory. So, you know, it's a, this is the first one and it's not an easy one. So we'll have to play well. Seth was saying it was night and day between week one and week two as far as. I guess getting excited for the game as far as atmosphere, uh, playing conditions, just opponent, everything. Uh, did, did you notice that uh, with your team, I, I guess, in the way they came out uh, last week compared to week one? Yes, it was a big, big difference. Again, I think coming out, game one out of uh, preseason camp, we we're a bit lethargic last week, night game, a little cooler. Um, started classes, so it wasn't 12 hours of football a day. You know, I thought we were focused and uh, ready to go. Played significantly better than week one. And then the, the last thing I have for you, going back to uh, the game last year, uh, is there anything you guys can take away from a game like that as a, a learning experience or anything going into this game? I know it was mostly against backups that they came back, but is there anything that you take away from that game? Well, you, you know, we, ex we make substitution in a game. I mean, we want to get people to play. And we have challenged uh, our second group. You know, we got to go out and get the job done when you, you know you're in there. Uh, I'm not anticipating that this week. I mean, we're going to have to scratch and claw to get this one. Uh, this is a good football team, but when you're out on that field, I don't care what unit you're on. We expect your performance. So, uh, after a couple of weeks, how does this team stack up to to other great teams that you've had at this point of the season? Well, it's still probably a little early. I'm very confident in our players, and I think they're confident in themselves. Um, Got to be careful that you don't think too far ahead, that you really have to be able to focus on day-to-day -day improvement. I mean, it's baby steps. It's day-to-day. -day, it's game to game. You know, you start gazing into the future too far, and you can stump it. So we just have to be mature and just keep chopping away. Yeah, you got it. <laughs>